Welcome to our channel. My name is Yvette and this is Tyler. Come along with us as we sail the high seas or hit the open road while we navigate and explore this beautiful planet our way. Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. As you know, we're at the boatyard with a few projects to get done before we're able to get back in the water. As you can see here, Tyler is removing some of the hardware from our bridle. We purchased a new one, so we're going to be swapping this one out. And then we also have some work to do on our anchor chain. There's a few updates we're going to be doing to our anchor chain. The first thing is, is adding more chain. When we purchased Tootsie Marie, she had 150 feet of chain. We went ahead and added an additional 75 feet of chain. You can tell the difference in color. We felt like adding more chain would be a good idea because when we were anchoring in the Caribbean, we sometimes wished we were able to add a little bit more scope. As you can see, we stretched out the chain so we could mark it in 30 feet increments. When we are dropping anchor, the paint will help identify how many feet we have out at a quick glance. We got the second coat of paint on our anchor chain and it's looking really good. We'll see how this holds up compared to our previous methods. And then we'll be able to put it back up through here and on the windlass. Attach the extra chain using a Crosby missing link that you can get from Amazon or other stores. I put the Dyneema line in there as a precaution in the event that the Crosby clip breaks. Since we added more chain, I am making sure that it coils properly in the locker there. Now that we've completed the chain project, Tyler is going to attach the new bridle. Since we arrived to the boatyard in our RV, I've been working hard every day to organize the items that I want to put back on the boat and also items that I want to keep on the RV. I love these vacuum seal bags. It's a perfect way to keep things airtight and not use a lot of storage to keep them. We use them on the boat as well. I really enjoy the feeling of being super organized. So this is a perfect opportunity to get the boat and the RV in good shape. It's super exciting. We're almost done with our projects and we'll be in the water next Sunday. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week.